welcome to chatter time. I'm going to keep an eye out and just make sure that we've got some people watching before I start getting into what we're doing today. So do come and join us if you're out there in the world. We've got some really fun things to do in chatter time this morning. Okay, great stuff. So we do have some people watching. That's a wonderful start. So let me introduce myself. My name is Gillian and I am one of the speech and language therapy assistants at Evelina London Community Speech and Language Therapy Service. So it's really good to see you here today. Now, if you've not come along to Chatter Time before, a really big hello to you. And if you're coming back for the first or second or hundredth time, then it's really good to see you here as well. So the way that Chatter Time works is it's split into two parts. The first part is aimed at the grown-ups, and that's where I'll be telling you what we're going to be doing in our session today and also sharing our tip of the week. And the second part is when we call all the children back and we get on with our main story, song and act songs and activities as well. Uh, so Chatter Time is aimed at young children and their grown-ups and we do it to give you some tips and tricks, some strategies on how to encourage early language and communication development. So I think we'll get started with uh, telling the grown-ups what we're getting up to today. And if your little ones are with you now, please feel free to let them wander off and play for a few minutes. Um, and don't worry, we will call them back when it's time uh, for their part. So today, uh, in our main part of the session, we'll be singing hello to everyone. So if you would like to, and you're able to, you could put your child's name into the chat, and that means I'll be able to sing their name. So we've already got some already. Excellent. I'll be singing hello to Zubair and Zuhail a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, please feel free to add to the chat at any point if you'd like to uh, interact, and I'll be able to see that as we go through. Once we've sung hello, uh, then we'll be getting on with the story. As you can see, my story is a little bit messy today. And if you saw worm painting a few weeks ago, you will know why. It got a little bit soggy from the paint. Um, our story today is about farm animals. It's nice and simple. It's something you should be able to do at home as well with any toys. It doesn't have to be farm animals. It could be any kind of um, little toys that your child particularly likes. You can just make up a little story using those. And that can be a nice way of adding visuals. So the, um, the little props that you have in there toys um, and helping them to get that language matched up with the object that they're looking at. Our attention activity today is bricks in a tube. Again, a really nice simple activity where you're piling little bricks uh, into literally a tube. This is kind of made out of a an old uh, kitchen roll or to long toilet roll type thing. Um, I'm just going to be using some colourful bricks. I'll be offering choices through that, so you're welcome to join in and, and if your child chooses a particular colour that I'm offering, you can put that in the chat. And at home, that'll be a really nice way to get them involved. So you could say, would you like the blue, uh, the blue cube next or the blue brick or the orange brick? And then when they choose, you can pop that in the, um, in the tube, lift it up and you'll have a nice tower at the end of it. Then we'll be doing some singing. We've got a few different songs to choose from today. And then at the end, we will be saying goodbye. Now this here that I'm holding up is a visual timetable. Um, and it's really helpful for children who don't quite understand timing and routine in the same way as us grown-ups do. Um, so you're welcome to uh, have a go at using one of these at home. You can make one yourself. As you can see, I've just drawn some uh, little pictures. And after each activity, you pull it off, you say, this is finished and then you can put it away. Now this is particularly helpful for children who find transitioning or moving between activities difficult. If you find that when it's time to finish playing with a particular thing, they've really, really been enjoying it and they're finding it quite stressful to then move on to the next activity, uh, then having something like a visual timetable when they can clearly see what you're doing next, um, that can be a helpful way of sort of managing um, that frustration. Now for us, we can quite clearly picture in our minds what we're gonna be doing throughout the day, but that's not the same if you're, if you're a child. Um, and that kind of starts to develop as they grow up. So having that visual support for that understanding um, is a great way um, of getting them through the day with the understanding of when the particular thing they might be excited about or feeling nervous or anything about um, they can understand when that's coming through. You can use that for a small part of your day. You could, if your child maybe finds bedtime or getting up quite difficult, you could think about all of the little steps to their bedtime. So pajamas, clean teeth, um, 
bath time i mean put them in the right order and then you can show them when each of them is finished and then you'll get down uh, to that part at the end of the day so we really recommend using visual timetables um and it, and we find that they are really helpful for a lot of families so let me share with you our tip of the week today oi, flying away already today our tip of the week is follow your child's lead now this is a really really great one um so often when when our children are playing with toys and they might be playing with it in a way that you wouldn't necessarily expect they might have um try and see what i've got nearby they might have sort of a cow toy and instead of kind of making it walk around they could be making it fly around uh, they could be experimenting with putting it on its side and building things on top of it and it can be really tempting um, to try and take it into our own hands and explain to our children how that cow toy could be played with in our own understanding of, of how you would play with it but actually letting them take the lead and joining in with what they want to do in play is a really great way of encouraging them um, and also it would help them to focus for longer now firstly this means that they are going to gain confidence because you are supporting um, their ideas um, and they're going to be feeling quite pleased about that having someone else join in with their own games and ideas um, secondly if they're interested in what they're doing they're probably going to do it for longer and that gives you the perfect opportunity to start adding language to what they're doing so say if they do have that flying cow um, flying around and you're thinking mm, okay how am I going to add language to this because cars because uh, cows don't fly I mean actually saying the cow is flying you're making the cow fly um, is a great way of adding those words um, to to how they're playing with the particular toy um, it would be the same with kind of a car sort of doing doing whatever you're building you're making a tower with the car or the cow um, adding that language um, to their own type of play is, is a really good way of encouraging them and getting them to focus on the words that, they, that you're using to do with the play that they are doing. So have a go this week at whatever your child wants to do with their toys or with whatever they're playing with, joining in with that rather than kind of trying to change it into your own way of playing. Now this is one that we hear quite a lot with books. Often people will be like, my child is interested in books, but they're kind of flicking it through really quickly. They're not stopping to look at it. They might be looking at it upside down. And this actually isn't a problem at, at any point really, um, because they are still interacting with it, they're just in their own way. And it gives you the opportunity to either talk about how they are interacting with it, you're looking it upside down, you're turning the pages fast, quickly, look, look, we've got to the end. Adding language to that, you probably wanna go simpler um, even than, than what I just said there. Um, but also if they kind of stop to look at a particular page, even if not necessarily the beginning of the story or the end of the story, you can point at what's happening on that page and really concentrate on what they're they're interested in uh, in the way that they are interacting with that book so tip of the week this week is follow your child's lead now with all our tips we encourage you to try, kind of focus on them for maybe five to ten minutes a day every day rather than trying to do it all at once this will help you build it into a habit um, and then um, it will be the most effective if you're doing it little and often rather than getting stressed out by trying to do it lots all at the same time now, one more tip before we get started with our main part of chatter time where we get our children back is if you join in at home, that will be the perfect way of encouraging your children uh, to join in too. Obviously, it can be a little bit hard to attend to the screen and we understand that sometimes children will come along for a bit and watch what's going on and then maybe wander off. But if you stay engaged, you join in with the singing, with the actions, um, then that will be a great way of encouraging them to get involved as well. So I think it's about time we called our children back and get started with the main part of chatter time. So children, come back. It's time for chatter time. Hello everybody. Welcome to chatter time. And like I said before, if you are there with your child and you'd like to put their name into the comments, that means that I can sing their name in our hello song. So let me introduce myself again. My name is Gillian. It's really good to see you here today. So we're gonna start off today by singing hello to everyone. 
So we're definitely gonna sing hello to Zubair and Suhail, but if there's anyone else who would like to put their child's name into the comments, I'll be able to sing hello to your child as well. But let's get started with our hello song. Here we go. Hello Zubair, hello Zubair, hello Zubair, it's good to see you here. Hello Suhail, hello Suhail, hello Suhail, it's good to see you here. Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Hello everyone, it's really nice to see you all. And if I didn't sing your name, please do feel free to still put the names into the comments and I'll be able to say hello as we're carrying on through as well. And now our hello song is finished. Our hello song is finished. And now it's time for our story. It's time for our story. And today, our story is about some animals. Our animals are on the farm. Okay, let's see what happens in our story today. So, down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. Moo. Moo. I know who that is. It's Cow. It's Cow. Come out and play, Cow. Down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse? and wants to come and play. Let's listen. Nay. Nay. Who's that? It's horse. It's horse. Come out and play horse. Down on the farm, at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. <coughs> it's Pig. It's Pig. Come out and play Pig. Down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. Ooh. It's chicken. It's chicken. Come out and play, chicken. Down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. Quack, quack, quack. <gasps> quack, quack, quack. I know who that is. It's duck. It's duck. Come out and play duck. Down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. Meh, meh. Hmm, that was a hard one. Meh. I think I know who it is though. It's goat. It's goat. Come out and play goat. Down on the farm at the start of the day. Who's in the farmhouse and wants to come and play? Let's listen. 
ba ba it's sheep come out and play sheep the animals have all come out to play down on the farm at the end of the day who's coming inside to sleep in the hay let's look it's sleepy sheep sheep is feeling tired good night sheep down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's feeling sleepy and wants to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's horse. Horse is feeling sleepy. Good night, horse. Down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's coming inside to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's duck. Duck's feeling sleepy. Good night, duck. Down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's coming inside to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's goat. Goat's feeling sleepy. Good night, goat. Down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's coming inside to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's cow. It's cow. Cow's feeling sleepy. Good night, cow. Down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's coming inside to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's chicken. Chicken's feeling sleepy. Good night, chicken. Down on the farm at the end of the day. Who's coming inside to sleep in the hay? Let's look. It's pig. Pig is feeling sleepy. Good night, pig. Good night, animals. Good night, farm. And now our story is finished. Our story is finished. And hello to Abdullah and Mum. We're really pleased to have you here. Let's see what we're doing next. Next, we are doing bricks in a tube. Here's our tube. A little bit hard logistically here. And here are our bricks. We have a blue brick, a yellow brick, a red brick, a green brick, and an orange brick. Which brick shall we choose first? Shall we choose a blue brick? Or a yellow brick? Blue or yellow? Hmm. I think yellow brick first. Drop it in. Three, two, one. The yellow brick went in the tube. What should we do next? Shall we choose the red brick or the green brick, the red brick or the green brick? Hmm, which shall we choose? Let's choose the green brick. 
Green brick next. Here we go. Drop it in. One, two, three. The green brick went in the tube. What should we do next? Shall we do the orange brick next? Or the red brick next? The orange brick or the red brick? Which shall we choose? Orange or red? Hmm. Let's do the red brick next. Here we go. Dropping it in. Three, two, one. The red brick went in the tube. Ooh, nearly fell over. Not yet though. Okay, last ones. We've got the blue brick or the orange brick. Which should we do next? Blue or orange? Let's choose the blue brick next. Dropping it in. Three, two, one. The blue brick went in the tube. And the last brick is orange. Let's drop it in. Three, two, one. In the tube. Okay, let's have a look and see what's inside our tube. Lifting it up. Lifting it up. Lifting it up. <gasps> the tower fell down. Oh no, our tower fell down. Should we do it one more time? I think we'll do it again. Here we go. And if mums and dads and grown-ups, your child would like to help choose a colour, please feel free to put it into the comments and we can choose that one next. I'll make my choices very slow so we've got time for typing. Okay, here's our tube. Our first choice is the red brick or the blue brick. The red brick or the blue brick. Which shall we choose? Can you choose? Red brick or blue brick? Red brick or blue brick? I'll choose the blue brick. Here we go. Drop it in. Three, two, one, go! It's dropped in the tube. Okay, next I think we're going to do red because Nazra has asked for a red brick next. Thank you for helping me choose, Nazra. Here we go. Three, two, one, into the tube. The red brick is in the tube. Okay, next. Shall we have the yellow or the green brick? The yellow brick or the green brick? The yellow brick or the green brick? Hmm, which shall we choose? Yellow or green next? Okay, I think we'll choose Yellow next. Yellow brick next. In it goes. Three, two, one. Dropped it in. The yellow brick went in the tube. Now we've got our last choice. We've got green or orange. Sue Hale would like green. That's really good choosing, Sue Hale. Thank you for your help. Okay, Sue Hale, here we go. We've got the green brick going in. Ready, steady. Oh, it didn't fall in. Let's try it again. Ready, steady, dropped it in. And now we've got our last orange brick. Ready, steady, go. Dropped it in. Let's have a look at our tower. Okay, <gasps> slowly, 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 it fell over, our tower fell over, the bricks 
fell over. Wow, that was fun making towers with you all. We used different colours and a tube to make a tower. And now bricks in the tube is finished. Bricks in the tube is finished. And now it's time for some singing, some singing. If you've got any favourite songs you'd like to do, please feel free to pop them in the chat and we'll have a go if I know them. <laughs> but I've got a few different ones for you guys to see as well. So we've got head, shoulders, knees and toes and twinkle, twinkle to start with. If there's any of these that you'd like to sing, please feel free to choose at home. Twinkle, twinkle or heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Hmm, which shall we sing first? I think we'll sing head, shoulders, knees and toes first. Yes, excellent, Abdullah would like this one as well. Good choice, Abdullah, thank you. And if you want to join in with the actions and the singing at home too, that'll be really, really good. Okay, here we go. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shall we do it again? Yes, let's do it again. This time, faster. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whew, that was really fast. I got mixed up between my head and my mouth. Oops daisy. Okay, let's do another song. More songs, please. We've got... Old MacDonald or Twinkle Twinkle. Old MacDonald or Twinkle Twinkle. Hmm, which should we choose now? Old MacDonald or Twinkle Twinkle? Hmm, let's choose Old MacDonald now. Okay, we've got lots of animals that could live on Old MacDonald's farm, like the ones we met earlier. So if your child has a favourite animal, you can pop that into the comments and we'll be able to sing that animal. Oh, and we'll do Twinkle Twinkle afterwards as well for Abdullah too. So thank you. Thank you for choosing. Okay, so first we're doing Old MacDonald had a farm. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, here a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Hmm, what's next on Old MacDonald's farm? Let's have a look. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's choose one more animal and see what's on Old MacDonald's farm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a bear here and a bear there. Here a bear, there a bear, everywhere a bear, bear. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Wow, lots of animals on Old MacDonald's farm. We saw a sheep, a pig and a duck. A sheep, a pig and a duck on Old MacDonald's farm. And now we're going to sing Twinkle Twinkle. Thank you for choosing Abdullah. Here we go. 
Let's see your stars. You can make them sparkle and twinkle in the sky too. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good singing, everyone. And now our singing is finished. Our singing is finished. And now it's time to sing goodbye to everyone. So we're going to sing goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye everyone. It's been good to see you here. And we're going to do it a couple of times. Goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye everyone. It's been good to see you here. Let's do it again. Goodbye children. Goodbye grown-ups. Goodbye everyone. It's been good to see you here. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for coming along and listening, singing and joining in with us today. We do chatter times twice a week on, what day is it? Tuesday morning at half past ten and Thursday afternoon at 2.15. But if you miss it, don't worry, we keep the videos up on our page so you can flip back and see anything that you've missed. If you'd like to find out a bit more about our speech and language therapy service, if you scroll up to the top of our page, you'll be able to find our website and you can have a look at and find out all the information that you want, or you'll be able to find an email address for any other questions you have as well. But all that's left for me to say is thank you for coming and see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.